Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to my channel and to Scrap Timber with the Scrappy Sisters and Laura Alberts and 30 Days of Sketches with Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. And the prompt today is using something old from your stash. And the sketch today is from Page Maps. It's really cute, it's really detailed, and you know, I was really tempted to use it to a T, but once I get started, I use it as inspiration. And what I mean about getting started, it's even picking out the photos. Yeah, I ended up seeing some that I decided I'd rather use instead, so it changed the whole collection that I was going to use. Well, I'm not sure if I can really call it a collection. I started to pull the collection. In fact, I had it laying on my desk. Then I decided to go get scraps because they weren't the colors I wanted. So I got scraps and that's a lot of what I'll be using. But I'll also be using a little bit of Summer Adventure by Echo Park. I'm making my strip to go down the left side and I'm mounting mine twice instead of once, just because I wanted that yellow color again. And that yellow color laying there, it's gonna be my background. Not that you're gonna see much of it, but it is gonna be my background. I am filling in pieces of this. And over to the left, you can see there's paper. Well, I'm gonna have a border punch, which I pulled out right now, and I have no idea what the name of it is, I've had it a while and know it's retired or discontinued <laughs> or whatever, but uh, yeah, it, I decided to use it and put it on both sides instead of putting a paper hanging off the left side, well, two papers is what they have, I decided I would use the border instead. I am, and notice how I'm cutting this one paper out. I am stopping it at the cloud that's going up a little bit. If you look up there on the sketch, there is a tab sticking up. Well, I'm going to have a cloud sticking up instead. And I am going to use that polka dot. It kind of reminded me of water bubbles. So I'm going to use it on the bottom of my layout and the cloud one on the top. The original layout did not have... Um, the layout matted but I decided I wanted mine matted and I did it in a basil it's a basil polka dot I think it's what it's called it's a polka dot embossed and it's a dark blue and it was the color I wanted so I used it for my border punch and for the background well the layout mat <laughs> and I'm making mountains here there is I, it, it's a sticker and I'm pretty sure I show it later. Well, I'll be using, I won't be using it. I will try to use a sticker and you will see my inspiration little sketch thing that was in the sticker and I'm using it for my background. It's not exactly the same or anything, but it is my inspiration. Their mountains are more like tall skinny triangles where mine are all together and I'm trying to ink them to kind of separate them. And here I ink that one going the one way and then I cut the white snow another way. So then I had to cut the snow down. Much easier than trying to get that ink off of there. Now, if it wasn't for the inspiration drawing, I wouldn't have made my mountains brown probably. They probably would have been green and may or may not have had snow on top i'm not sure but since the inspiration piece does have snow on top i'm putting some there and i'm inking it in that powder blue ink and it is kind of like a powdery instead of like most inks it's kind of powdery it's really popular a long time ago when i bought that but i just spray it with a spray bottle every now and then and it just keeps it going Right there is where I goofed, so I had to cut it off. And it's just going to have a little topper on the back of that, uh, well, the back mountain. And I'm going to have a bigger one on the one on the right instead. And I'm trying to get the inks in there 
in the grooves and in the places. And since I did make that other one come over kind of far, I had to cut the snow for this mountain another time instead of being able to use the one that was kind of ragged and not right. Oh, and as I said, the prompt is something old from your stash. For some reason, I thought it was saying something old, period. No, from your stash on there. So I thought I would use something old as a technique and have paper piecing without any punches. <laughs> but then I looked at it again and seen it was something old for my stash. So I pulled out an old set of stickers that were vellum, which do not work on my layout. I tried, they, they just did not go. So I will pull out, that. those were from 2012. So I will pull out some stickers from Jelly Bean Soup and their hexagons, and I will use them on my layout because they're 2012 too. My grass that I'm using has little teeny tiny, I mean tiny triangles on it. It is a pattern paper, but I decided to use it as my grass anyway, just because it was a color that I wanted. And I inked it up, and I am going to put some more ink on it before I'm done. I'm making some trees to go in the background. And I'm using that scrap of wood grain right there for the trunks. And then I'm going to use this, well, it's a, a darker green, but it has a tint of blue in it. And so I'm going to use Ponderosa Pine from Close to My Heart for inking on them just because they're that darker blue and that ink is too. I used uh, Vintage Photo on my trunks. I didn't put it over the whole trunk. I kind of tried to move my little sponge thing around a little bit because, you know, trunks aren't always the exact same color. <laughs> so I wanted my little tiny skinny Skinny, I mean skinny trunks, not to have the same color either. I'm cutting out triangles. Well, the second one really won't look like a triangle, and neither will the third nor the fourth, but I'm going to put them on my tree. I started at the top, but I didn't put enough adhesive to cover the bottom part of that cone, and I'm just kind of sliding up underneath them. And I'm going to end up making five of them. But I'm only showing how to make one. And they're just going to, and they're going to be tall pines. Around my house, they're mostly tall pines. We do have some that are the short, fat ones, you know, and you don't see much trunk on the bottom, but we planted those. <laughs> and we're not at my house there, but I remember the trees being the tall pines. So I kind of sort of wanted to go along with that, even though they're not as rustic as the tall pines that you normally see. I'm using creative license to do them this way and make them a little bit easier. My inspiration piece for this, um, <laughs> I don't know what I even call it, this cluster <laughs> of mountains and trees does have a tint in there. So I am making a tint now and I'm using a burgundy color. It's not a whole lot different from that background paper because it came in the same pack and it's Echo Park paper. But it was enough difference that by the time I put the yellow on there too, I think it'll look just fine on the layout. And I am inking the yellow bits with uh, mustard seed. I put the yellow behind there so that, well, I cut a triangle out first and I put the yellow behind there so I could kind of fold those flaps over for the tent. And I was debating whether to put the yellow or the burgundy color in the back behind the doorway. And I finally decided on the burgundy color just because my flaps were yellow. And I'm going to make, well, I'm going to use some black cardstock to make rope. And then I'm also going to have stakes in the ground. And I'm going to make a fire. But while I'm doing all that, I want to tell you about the photos. They are my grandson, Jake. And we were at a place called Johnson's Shut-Ins. And it's a nice little walk up to it. 
get a look at the water flowing and all kinds of stuff. And when you get up there, the people are like laying on rocks, kind of like seals, bathing, you know, <laughs> only their people. Plus that water's running through there. And it's kind of on the cool side. But Jake was all in. Boy, he really liked it. So I took several of him there while he was in the water. And these four were all in the same area. And one of them, he got just a little bit close when he was turning around looking at me and talking to me. And that's the last one. And he kind of started going backwards. And it kind of su surprised him. But he was laughing. It didn't scare him or anything. And uh, also, while I'm putting all this together, I want to mention that down there below, you will find the links to the Scrap Timber Gals, and that is the Scrappy Sisters, Katie and Jess. And you'll also find the link for Laura Alberts. And then for the 30 Days of Sketches, a link for Christie's Beautiful Life, plus loads of other links down there of different ones that are planning on doing this during the month. There's several, like me, that's plans are for every single day. So plenty of inspiration and a hop every single day in the month of September. I am taking a brush right now and just kind of brushing a little darker green. It's the garden greens, what I used on that. I wanted it to match the green I already had on the grass. And I will put some underneath the tent and also where the stakes are for the string, which is that black cardstock. It isn't really string. I thought about getting string and then I decided it'd be just as easy to go ahead and cut some black cardstock instead. And I'm going to use that same piece of wood green, wood green, wood grain to make my fire and it's going to have four little pieces of wood and I'm just going to hand cut them too and place it to the left of the opening of the tent. And I'm looking at it and thinking it needs something else. And so yeah, I will end up fussy cutting something to put inside the tent also. Oh, here I am putting the ink under the tent and also under the stakes and I think I I, there, I put some while I was putting the tent up <laughs> by the tent for my fire so there would be a little bit darker grass right there and I'm just kind of guessing at it I want to do some flames with the scraps from the yellow and there was like a little orange one in the little scrap container. Well, it's not that little. It's not as little as my flame. Let's put it that way. And I'm going to make my own flame to go with it. And I'm making it like the one that is on the sticker, which you will see soon. And yeah, I'm just doing four there. And I was thinking I need to do the ends rounded like it's been cut. The firewood has been cut. So instead of cut, trying to cut a little circle <laughs> down there, I'm going to pull out a colored pencil. And I, I could not tell you what the color is. It's kind of a cream color because I was thinking the inside of the little logs. So I wanted it lighter. And yeah, there it is. It's a cream color, I think. That's what it looks like to me anyway. And I'm just uh, coloring in the ends into a circle. And here I'm making the flame and watch me the first time. I decided, oh, that's too big. So I had to turn around and do it again. I didn't even finish cutting it out before I decided that. And I'm just making flames going up because that's what the inspiration piece has. And I'm going to do the orange colored one the same way. Only I am going to uh, make it... Quite a bit smaller because that's what they did in the inspiration piece. I might have done my fire a little different if I wasn't trying to do it the same way. And I'm just gluing the little logs around the bottom of my flames and I'm just going to put it right over there in front of the tent. I do not think I put foam. Yes, I do. I do put a little bit of foam tape under there. Yeah, 
that I decided it needed to come forward just a little bit. So I added the foam tape on there. And here's what I decided to put inside the doorway. It was just a little boy and he was looking out of a teepee. And he, I, I thought, oh, he's just a little bit on the small side. But then I thought, no, this is a family tent. A family of several are sleeping in there. So there is plenty of room left over. And I used my smash pen to make some faux stitches on my tent. And if you look at the layout, it does have a strip that goes all the way across, kind of like a border thing there. And so I'm using one of the border stickers and it says hiking, the great outdoors and adventure on there. And for my title, I'm using Sizzix tall and thin letters. And I thought about centering them right there, you know, in that area. But then I thought, I really need some kind of cluster. I'm wanting some kind of cluster. And so I am putting it all to the left so I have room to make the cluster. Well, that cluster took me longer than everything else on the layout. I kept trying different things and nothing made me happy. And there's that little sticker I pulled out of that book. And it just don't go with the rest of the colors. So it's not going to make it on the layout. And there I'm showing the scene. And that's before I decide to use the sticker. And you will see the sticker longer. But the hexagon stickers are from 2012. So it is something old from my stash. And I'm putting banners, little fishtail banners on there. Smile big, laugh hard, camp often. And I'm going to think I need more all the way through. <laughs> and the, like the very last thing I add on here is the more. But yeah, I even tried putting one enamel dot on each because I thought three would look kind of funny. So, yeah, I, but I will get smaller and smaller as I go up the page. <laughs> and I am putting them on foam tape also. And, oh, I'm putting the one and then the, and it's yellow. And then the one on the left, no, on the right. The one on the right is going to be blue. And then the bottom one on the left, yellow again. And I cut part of that out because this is a super long video. And there's that sticker, and right at the top it has that little seam. And it kept bugging me because, you know, it's kind of a repeat of what I had up there at the top. And I couldn't think of anything else to use. I looked at the sticker sheet. I looked at the cutter parts, and I kept thinking, I really need something else to put there, but what? And so I will end up pulling out my circle cutters from Creative Memories and making my own circle because, you know, I was wanting that shape. And that's why I pulled it. Uh, I can just make that shape. I do have my creative memory circle cutters. So, and I could have used punches too. But I'm pulling everything off now. And it did stay a while. It may not have looked it because I cut stuff out that was totally unnecessary on this video because I did not use them. And I'm making the orange smaller because I wanted more of that color to show up. And it does have a pattern on it. And it, they are hexagons, but they're the elongated ones on there. And I'm going to put my cluster on top of it. And I am so much happier with that than I was the sticker to start with. The camera and the boots that I'm going to be using on here are from the sticker sheet. But I did mount them on white cardstock and fuzzy cut them out. So that I could put foam tape behind them, move them around, and whatever, you know, I wanted to do. Since I fussy cut all that stuff up there at the top for the paper piecing, I decided I'd go ahead and make a little bit of greenery by hand and tuck it in in the bottom right. Just to kind of match the handmade look from the top. And other than the enamel dots and the things I fussy cut right at the end. I'm about done with the layout, but I am having so much fun with this 30 days of sketches and prompts. I'm really enjoying the prompts. I haven't missed a sketch or a prompt yet. However, the other day it said rainbow. I did use a muted rainbow. Yeah, that, that, that was, you know, 
about the farthest I got off on the prompt, but I did use the prompts. And I am using something from 2012 on here. So, yeah, I, <laughs> I probably would have not used those hexagon stickers if it hadn't been for the prompt. But I really like them on there. And the things I fussy cut to go on there is, well, there's a log with an axe. So I cut a slice out of the log so I could stick my axe in there. A shovel and a flashlight. So, yeah, I had to put something else there. It was just kind of on the blank side. But that's it. That's my layout. And I had fun making it. And I got four photos on a layout. So, yeah, a lot of times I kind of put them off for ch sketch challenges. Because most of the time I only have one photo to scrap with. That's all I get. But, yeah, there's the cluster. And I like that so much better than how it was going earlier. And... You can see the little bit of the dotted look on the alpha there. And there's my border punch with the axe in the log. Because, yeah, of course, I had to put the axe in the log. And there's the trees, the tall trees. And you can see part of my uh, fire right there on the right hand side <laughs> can't see all of it but i think i show a close-up of all the whole thing i think i do and there's the flashlight one and yeah i think the next photo is a close-up yeah there it is there's my fire trees tent mountains and then the border strip going across there so if you look up there at the sketch, you can see I used it as inspiration. But if you leave a comment below, I'll try to get back with you. And I do read them all. It's just sometimes I, well, when I get started replying, I, I want to say more than thanks. <laughs> I want to visit a minute while I'm there. And so I kind of put it off till I got time and then I get behind. But yeah, that's it. That's my layout. And if you like the video, hit, please hit a thumb up, thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so much. But have a happy, scrappy week. Take care and stay safe. Bye.